what's going on guys welcome back to the channel so i had an idea today i was bored and i decided i wanted to weigh my gooseneck trailer so uh what i have in mind and i think it'll work accurately is i've got my load cell my twenty thousand pound load cell tied up here on top of the neck um, this will let me know what the pin weight in uh, the pin weight is on the ball all right once i get that measurement that'll be all that measurement is used for and uh then i'm going to pick up the back of the trailer back here put jack stands under it and the reason i'm going to do that is is so i can weigh the front if i put jack stands up under the back right here the trailer will be supported off the ground off the axle so it doesn't teeter totter and then i can pick up right here right over the top of these jack stands and that will give me half the weight then pick up the back half of the trailer it'll be supported right here and that'll give me the other half of the weight as long as i pick up directly over the top of the supports i should get an accurate trailer weight now if i pick up out here on the end of the neck obviously that's going to give me a different measurement than picking up right here so as i say i'm going to set jack stands under the back we'll get that measurement and then we'll pick up the front with the jack stands under the back that'll give me the other half of the measurement and then the tongue weight will just be you know for information and knowing what it is sitting on the truck so hopefully this goes as planned um i'm thinking that this uh trailer weighs around seven thousand pounds uh, all the information i have uh kind of what it points to looking at similar trailers so we're going to see if we come up with a number or measurement somewhere close to that okay so this first measurement you're going to see is going to be the pin weight and i've got it picked up slightly a little bit and it's the weight of the chain hanging on it and we're getting about eight pounds there so i'm going to go ahead and pick it on up a little bit guys i don't know how well that's picking that up but that's 1332 pounds um i do have the equalizers back there set right where that's what we should have on the truck um the way i got it 1330 32 pounds somewhere in there folks waiting a little bit but uh got some wall stirred up somewhere they're swarming around i don't know what how well the led is picking up in the uh in the sun there it's a little bright out here but 1330 is what we're looking at for pin weight all right guys so this is the second setup i got here got the load cell hanging from the tractor got it sitting on the uh the trailer hitch right here and i'm going to pick this up and i'm going to put jack stands as i say up under the very rear here and uh this is going to give us the go ahead and give us the weight of the back half because it's already sitting on jack st jacks on the front on the landing gear and then i'm going to set it down on jack stands then we'll go back around to the front and pick up directly over the jack stands on the front or the landing gear on the front and that'll give us the front weight. At least that's the idea. We are clear of the ground. All four tires there. I don't know if you can see that. All four clear of the ground. So we're going to get a measurement on that and then we're going to put jack stands under it. Eight 
All right, guys, I'm trying to block this right here so you can get a good good reading on that LED that's bright out here. 3,854 pounds is what we're holding right there. Okay, you see how we did that there? We got the pressure off of it now. Got it sitting on jack stands right there. As you see, I've got them placed under the bars right there. So I was picking up directly over the top of them where my chain was. And now, both tires are still off the ground. On each side, as you see, we're gonna go around here and I'll rig it up and we'll pick up directly over the landing gear right here somehow with uh, a chain up here on the top. And that should give us whatever that number is plus our 3854 should give us the total weight of the trailer. The pin weight is only relevant when it's sitting on the ground and hooked to the truck. All right, guys, as you see there, we have it hanging right above the landing gear right there. You see both landing gear jacks is off the ground. We got it supported right there above it. And uh, it's still on the jack stands on the back back there. All four tires is off the ground. See daylight from them. So we'll get a measurement over here for a reading. So that is 3,758 pounds plus 38.54. And then we got to subtract the weight of our chain, which is 10 pounds on each end from that number. So it'll be 20 pounds. So 3760 plus 38.54 is 7,614 pounds minus 20. We're right at 7,600 pounds. Um, I do have some straps in the front here as well. That's uh, six of them. Those are five pounds a piece is about what they weigh, plus a block of wood. So we got 35 pounds of stuff right there. So if we wanted to take that off, but that stuff you're gonna have in there anyway. 7560. But uh about 7,600 pounds realistically is uh is about where we're at. So I knew it was over seven thousand or I thought it was over seven thousand. And uh so yeah. Now we know how much he weighs, seventy six hundred pounds. All right, guys, I didn't even have to go to the truck stop to find out what my trailer weighed. Ain't that neat? Um, that's the 20,000 pound load sale. For those of you who are interested, I will put a link in the description. Uh, if you're interested in purchasing something like that for yourself, they make them in different sizes and whatnot, but that's the 20,000 pound one. Um, so if you got something that pick up a decent amount of weight, you can weigh different stuff like that. Uh, just use your imagination, weigh everything you got around your house. You know what everything weighs. Uh, for those of you who want to know the specs on the, uh, trailer there it's a 29 foot performance brand 07 model i believe tandem dual gooseneck uh it's, it does have a torque tube on that one so that adds another four to five hundred pounds over what it would normally weigh uh it's a piece of five inch pipe that goes up under the bottom of it it's got some extra cross members and stuff in there but uh anyway that's the way to that i know that 29 foot is kind of an odd length uh it's a 24 foot deck with a five foot dovetail most of them are going to be a 25 five for a 30 foot total length but I guess that one was special ordered or something. Uh, it had a couple of previous owners before I bought it. Uh, I know of about three, I think. So who knows why they ordered it 29 foot? I don't know. But anyway, that's what it is. Um, kind of makes me wonder if I could weigh my flatbed that same method. I don't think my tractor will pick it up though on the, on the axle end. I know I can pick up the front end of it, but I don't think I got enough tractor to pick up the rear because all your weight is where your, uh, where your axle is at back there on uh, those flatbeds. So uh, I don't think I got something big enough to pick it up. But if I did, I'm pretty sure that the same method would work. 
So anyway, we may have to try that one of these days. I get bored again. Anyway, I guess I'll go ahead and wrap the video up. Uh, like I say, for those of you interested, link in the description on the load cell. And if you're curious about what one of those trailers weigh, if you got one, you should have some kind of general idea now. So thanks for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video.